Tonight, we're going to make a server. What you see before you is a Pentium 4 box that I built about six years ago. Next to it are four one terabyte drives I just got from Newegg and the boot disk of FreeNAS, which is the 686 stable install. This, these are the basic components of the new server that I'm building. Well, let's have a look inside. As you can see, this is definitely a six-year-old machine. That is some serious gunky dust on the fan on the microprocessor. Right now, FreeNAS, if you read the manual, it says that the Pentium 4 chip is still the best chip to use for a FreeNAS build. So here we have a six-year-old machine that is about to get a new lease on life. Uh, it has 512 mag of RAM. Uh, the rest of the slots and everything are pretty much immaterial. I could take out, for example, the sound card and the uh, firewire uh, slots, and, and the video card is clearly way too much for this, but I'm going to leave all that stuff in because, um, you know, I don't need it. Now, the one thing I am going to take out is this hard drive. The way I'm going to run uh, a FreeNAS is via a, an optical drive and a uh, floppy. Uh, I think that this is going to be a little bit on the hot side when I put these drives in. So I also have a fan that I got from Newegg, which I'll be installing. I might throw in some old chip fans too, we'll see. If you look at the, the slots here and how this motherboard is made up, this was came out way before SATA was ever even, uh, well it didn't exist. So we'll also need this card, which is a uh, Roswell, or Roswell um, RAID card. Uh, I'm going to use it though, not for its RAID capabilities, but for its SATA capabilities. Note that's a four port. Uh, so I can uh, mount the one terabyte drives in this ancient machine. The nice thing about this old case is that it's fairly modular. Some of these old cases are all screws and impossible to work with. This one just unplugs and we have plenty of drive bays free for all four drives. Okay, I've got two of the drives mounted. I don't have them screwed in. This case has clamps, although what I'm really using is the shelves. And uh, I, the one metal frame is very, very old. I think I probably pulled it out of a 20-year-old computer. The other one is a heat-reducing um, vented frame. Uh, but they're both resting in the shelves. It's not really that important that they stay bolted in so long as you know they're going to be held by gravity. So um, the import most important thing is keeping the thing cool. Okay, I have all four drives mounted. I'm not crazy about how I mounted the drive underneath the floppy. That's going to be a lot of heat there. I'm going to try to add an extra fan in a few minutes. Um, now I'm about. I did decide to take out the old FireWire card and the sound card too. The server doesn't need sound card. Right, this will help the heat dissipation. And I'm going to put in the fan card now. If you've worked with IDE cables and IDE power cables, SATA is just a lot easier. Here you can see the power is already wired up, yellow down uh, on all the drives. Uh, the power cables, like for the old CD unit here, uh, still the, the old style, but then these convert to the new SATA style, new being relative. You look at this SATA card and you look at uh, these really crazy red SATA wires come out of it. You think about all the data that's going to go through there, are just terabytes of data, high volume. But it's just electricity, it's just electrical impulses, and this is just a high-end way of getting electrical impulses out. Okay, I don't have uh, this hooked up to anything, but I want to put some power into it just to check some things out. So I'll go ahead and turn the power on. Those beautiful fans. You can see it posted, that's good. 
Um, it's trying to boot off a floppy. That's not going to work. It's an aged, aged heating fan there, chip fan there. It's got pretty good circulation on the crazy blowing, blowing fan. Well, you can really crank it. Ho, 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 ho. That's going to help a lot. It's going to create some circulation. Uh, yeah, don't try this at home. <laughs> I mounted a very small chip fan right here, and that's going to really put some good uh, circulation over these drives. Um, a lot of this is just parts that I had lying around. Of course, the one terabyte drives are the big purchase for this. But I think that we've got a lot of throughput for uh, with respect to air. So I think that um, that's pretty good flow. I'm still a little concerned about this one here, but I think that uh, I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be a very solid file server. This is, uh, we're going through the boot screen now. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go into setup. I want to show you what uh, it looks like here. You can see the RAID utility comes up. We don't need to go into the RAID utility because we're going to use a software RAID. Uh, but you saw all four of the drives recognized. You can see FreeNAS booting now. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with how well this went. I didn't know if the RAID card was going to give me some trouble with the ancient BIOS that I'm using with the P4, uh, and it still might, but right now uh, FreeNAS is loading like it should off the CD, and uh, it saves data onto the floppy. It seems like a really primitive way to do it, but it's very effective, and that way the drives are freed up to just do the raid. Well there it is. It's unconfigured but it's up and running and so I'll just try to configure it now uh, and try to get the RAID 5 up and going. Having trouble getting the camera fo to focus in but I do want to show you uh, after I've uh, configured the RAID what I'm ending up with you saw that I installed four one terabyte drives. That gives me a RAID 5 of 2.86 terabytes. And here's the final stats page. You can see the 2.6 terabytes, not using much memory. I looked at the disk temperature and they're all at 35 degrees Celsius, running very cool. This was brain dead easy and uh, I now have a server that's RAID 5 that I can put all the data that I have in the house on.